Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to T3, December 20th. We have my favorite things, and so what we're going to do is we're going to wait until five, until we know for sure whether we have all of our guests, but this is going to be our opportunity to share our favorite things, and I'm going to, um, I think what I'm going to do as we celebrate tonight, um, going through everything, I want you guys to um, actually put in the chat box, like, one thing that you feel would be really worthwhile um, having some training on tonight or in the near future? Like what's one thing that maybe stumped you this week or you're feeling like, man, if I could only get this down, I'm really great in my sales and my closing, but man, I'm lousy in my follow through or I'm really great when I'm on the phone with them. But when I get in person, I get tongue tied, you know, let's, let's really dive into um, what are some things that will make a huge difference as we, as we launch going into the new year. Okay. So I'm going to ask you guys to keep those coming because if we can't get to them tonight, it gives both Joe and I some fuel and some, um, some good things to think about as we put our lesson plan together for the new year. Okay, well, we always start with crows. So who wants to share some kind? Oh man, I don't want to touch that one, but okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Fran, Fran's breaking it, man. She's not going to, uh, she's not sugarcoating anything. Taxes. <laughs> death and taxes. I'm going to make you talk about death and I'll talk about taxes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So that's a good one. Um, who has a crow? They want to start us off. Some good juju. <laughs> We're better together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right, I'll do one. It's a small crow. Am I muted? Nope, we hear you. But last week I went to real estate lady who is a friend of mine also, just to deliver her a tube of retinol and I got four orders from, from some of the other girls in the office. Oh, so, and then after the first year, they promised me we'll do a party in the uh, conference room. Nice. So that's that's the best that I can do. <laughs> I love it. Congrats, everybody. Give it up. Yay. For me. <laughs> uh, okay, got a text coming in. That's awesome. Who else? Oh, you guys are, you know, here's the thing. It's it's uncomfortable to celebrate ourselves. And before Mary Kay, nobody ever wanted me to brag about myself because it was selfish. And I'm asking mm -hmm. you to change that thinking because the more mm -hmm. we can celebrate our journey and our steps, guess what happens? You sharing, give permission to somebody brand new like Mandy or Stacy mm -hmm. who says, I didn't think I could do that. That 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 was always something I was told I, I, I should keep a mouth shut because I'm a, an A student. No, in our Mary Kay Pink Bubble, we are transforming lives and you start mm -hmm. here by starting with yourself and knowing that we have a loving, supportive group. So who has something that maybe they have freaking watched their face morning and night for the last two weeks and before Mary Kay, you never did that. That is a celebration. Maybe you've been hitting the gym. Come on, girls. We want to hear something. Maybe you, of course, made dinner for your family. <laughs> we can start small. Who has it? Crow. <laughs> I have one. I finally remembered to bring satin hands to work. I work with nurses in a surgery center. So it's only been a month, Ooh. but I finally brought it yesterday. <laughs> Love it. And then how did you bring it? Like, did you say, come here, you guys, I brought a treat or tell us how you did it. Yeah, I just um, set it down and I said, hey, I'm going to put it in the break room because we can't have it in the surgery center. But I put it in the break room. If you guys want to use it, let me know how you feel. If you want a little bit of samples, I bought some little clear um, like lips or chapstick containers that I can just put little plastic like samples in. And I got a couple people that wanted them, but they all got it for Christmas. So it'll be a little bit before they order again, but that's okay. But the feelers excellent. 
Well, when they tell you, of course, after Christmas and they, they're like, oh, thank you. I love it. That's where you would say, uh, if you love the way your hands feel, let's go ahead and do your satin face appointment. Mm -hmm. Schedule it right there. Yeah, that was probably one of the hardest questions or, or, or parts of developing my own presentation where when I would meet somebody, I would then ask for that appointment. And we forget how to ask for the appointment. But when we're, you know, mm -hmm. oh gosh, I think I would like to try something. Great. Don't leave it there. Great. I can fit you in Tuesday or would Saturday here in your office be better? Like you got to pull up your big girl panties. Ask for the appointment. Are you hearing me? Shake mm -hmm. heads. I want to see it. Mm -hmm. Shake. That's where we go from being a hobby consultant to being a boss babe. Okay, we start to own and control the situation instead of being the recipient without any control, wondering if they're ever going to call us. And so proud of you. Thank you so much for sharing. Who who got inspired from that? Mm -hmm. Okay, Stacy, you made a huge difference tonight. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyone else? Oh, I got a story, not a crow. It's a story. We'll take a story. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a story. Um, my sister-in-law, we take a class together. She ordered some stuff from me. And so, um, I packaged it up all nice with the Mary Kay bag and tissue paper and whatever. And she's a person that, that, you know, loves that kind of stuff. And I sat it down on the table during class, just, you know, and she didn't touch it till after class, but she's an oor and an hour. Ooh, ah. And so um, looking for the extra little gift I always put in there. And a couple of ladies like, oh, what's there? What you got there? Oh, you're so very cute. Oh, yes, I do. And did I got the So there you go. That That's is like a great story, Fran. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> D is not on. I am going to celebrate what she shared on our daily hotline. She was at the gym, 5 a.m. She said there was a gentleman that she sees often um, in, in the morning working out. And she said, hey, uh, may, they must know each other. And she said, hey, did you finish all your shopping for your wife? And he said, yeah, yeah, I'm really, I got everything I need. And she said, did you even get the pillow gift? You know, after it's all said and done and she's the one cooking and cleaning and wrapping everything that you surprise her. And this is where the men get the luckiest when they, I get help them have the pillow gift. And he said, you know what I've got, I think I do, but I didn't get her birthday gift. She said, don't worry, I've got it for you. I'll wrap it all up. And she said, she made the sale at 5 a.m. So very cool. proud of D and it's true. You know, when we really look at every single person, even if they say they don't need Mary Kay, every single person has skin and they are purchasing something. They might be purchasing Irish Spring at the grocery store, or they might actually be going into, um, they might be ordering Amazon or they might be going someplace, but every single person does have a need for skincare. So it's just exposure and the more people understand. So actually, let me let me um, go ahead into our slideshow. And hello, Miss Amy, welcome to our party. Joe, um, I do want to let everybody know as, nope, 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 I'm not sharing. One second, I've got to set this up to share. Joe called me, um, she was all set on being on. And she's in New Jersey. Unfortunately, her family didn't quite read the memo that she had her Mary Kay meeting. And they were um, very upset that she would be with us and not with them. <laughs> so she was uh, unhappy and asked mm -hmm. if I was able to carry us. And I hope that you will allow me to um, mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. The job tonight, if I can, oh, that's what it is. I'm hitting a share. So really want to thank all of you for being on and welcome to our T3. So really just a quick thing here. Merry Christmas in advance, but weekly accomplishment sheet is still due on January 1st. It's a Sunday. You can finish it the day before, for goodness sake. So, you know, but keep adding to it if you can. And mid-year 
excuse me, at mid-year awards will be on January 3rd. And the virtual Mary Kay conference, um, for us here in San Diego, we're doing a virtual, uh, sorry, we're doing a real conference. So if you're in San Diego, you can go ahead and put on Friday the 17th and the day 18th, we are putting one together just for you. And the virtual will still be going on. I just, I do want to just tell you, in fact, I'm going to stop the share. Ladies, like that crossbody purse is so dang cute. And I'm going to tell you right now, whether you love crossbodies or you hate crossbodies, maybe you're not a purse girl, maybe you've got a million and all you wear is a Louis. Uh, let me just tell you, you want to earn these things and you want to earn them for many reasons. Number one, if you're out and about and you cannot talk about your Mary Kay business, let your uniform, your blouse, your beauty coat do the talking for you. Okay, mm -hmm. this is a big way for people to go, oh, is that still around? My hairstylist last week, excuse me, mm -hmm. not my hairstylist, but my client was getting her hair done and she was texting me to make her delivery and her hairstylist started talking to the other client saying, Mary Kay, is that still a thing? They used to go mm -hmm. to the houses. That was so nice. I mean, who would love to have somebody guide them and walk them through step-by-step and the other lady said, I don't think I've ever even had anyone do that. And my friend was under the dryer. She was texting me. I can't believe this is going on. I can't even interrupt them. Ring catalogs. So, of course, I arrived within 20 minutes. But there is so much opportunity that when you have something like the crossbody, um, by the way, Mary Kay came out of this crossbody, sold out in over an hour, in under an hour but we got some. So we put out the challenge and I want you just to get excited. If you're thinking, oh, how, 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 that's the wrong part of your brain. You have a choice and you, you want to think of like driving. If you go down that really dark, dingy road, <laughs> You're going to get a lot of dark, dingy outcome. Don't allow your brain to go there. Anytime your brain says how, I want you to just think, cancel, cancel. That is from the enemy. We're going to say, who? Who, Lord? Who could I talk to? Who could I smile at? Who could I just be kind to today? Because all of that shifts you. And the moment that you start to say, oh my gosh, I'm having fun. And I can, I can reach this goal. I can bless five different groups of three women. Okay, how, who, and you start, excuse me, who, you start allowing your brain to go into possibility. Have I lost anyone here? Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all are giving me that look, but I'm telling you that when you say how, your brain's going to go into the left brain and it's not creative and that is where the enemy shows up. Your energy will follow and people will say no to you, even if you're saying the right thing because of your energy. So if you want to have great energy, if you want to have fun energy, if you want to have energy of hope and excitement and have attraction, then we want to always say, who? Who could we bless? Who could I give a sample to? Who could I place a call to? The more you say that, the more possibility driven you are. Say yes. Yes. Making sense now? So as you're yeah. thinking, I haven't had my... My parties, how, 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 how? No, 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 you cancel, cancel, cancel. It's a, it's a skill, but it's a habit that once you practice it over and over and over, you actually master. So I want you to start thinking, okay, Christmas is coming, fine. But after Christmas, people are jovial. They've got some cash to burn and now they're ready to have new habits. They want to they wanna have the best January and 2023, but they want to have weight loss. They want to have 21-day challenges. I want y'all to think about this. How many of y'all see the pink drink? Drink it for 21 days. Lose five pounds. Join me. Challenge. Everybody loves challenges. So if you're thinking now about getting that prepped and ready, you can send out some mm -hmm. emails. And say, you guys, I'm starting to fill up for my 
skincare challenge, my 21 day challenge, and you can start getting people excited to do the morning and night routines and getting on a good skincare for the new year. That means that they'll start to be open when you call them. Okay, so what I'm gonna encourage you to do is keep thinking who, 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 be like Whoville, right? It's the best time of year for, the, we have the Grinch, it's that time of year, so I want you to think of a Whoville and allow your, your mind to continue in that direction. You might not even know the who yet, but God's going to lead you. And once you do like Fran, you start opening up the conversation. You never know the three or four people that you didn't know them before you opened your mouth, but now you have new friends. Now you have new connections and they all know of people. So number one, you need to make the decision. You need to make the decision. Every time I remember when I was, um, I was in DIQ and I remember at seminar just sort of feeling at a loss. I didn't have any new customers. I didn't have any new leads. I felt like I was at a standstill and here we are at the biggest event of all. I wasn't on that stage, but I wanted to be. It was my first year, Mary Kay. And Joe just turned to me and Joe said, well, what do you, what do you think you should do? What, what's the baseline challenge you should do? What did Mary Kay teach you to do? When you don't know what to do, what did Mary Kay teach you to do? And I paused and I was starting to get a little bit, you know, emotional. Like, I just don't know. I got a star inventory and how am I going to pay for it? See, how, how, how? And then all of a sudden I said, perfect start. And again, my mind was saying, I don't know if I'm hostess. How will I sell it? I'm a loser. And so I was going down the rabbit hole. Am I the only one? Okay. Y'all are going to get there eventually. And this is what happened. I stopped and I said, oh, who, who could I ask to be in my portfolio? Who could I call and say, hey, I'm starting my January. You can call it whatever you want. New year, new you makeover contest. You can make your own things up, you know. And all of a sudden I started writing on a list. Okay, I'm going to call Sarah. Hey, Sarah, I've not asked you specifically to be in my portfolio. Um, thank you so much for your last order with Mary Kay, but I would really love to feature you. Is there any reason why I couldn't do an, uh, a before and after and just bless you with a new look for the new year? Do you have like a fun party you're going to? Oh my gosh, that would be great. Well, at my house, I'm doing things on the 29th and the 30th. Do you, do you have an opening? Would you like to come over? And I started to schedule. Well, at first, I was the hostess. Sarah said, oh, no, I don't think I have any girlfriends that are available. No problem. Why don't you come? So then I would call Veronica. And then I called uh, Sally. So we all came together. I was the hostess. All it took mm -hmm. for me to, was to do one and go, oh, that was so much fun. Like, it's not about the sales. The sales come because as I was with Sarah, I was like, really? Okay, you're too cute to struggle with feeling fugly. Let's get this fixed. I'm here. I'm your girl. Okay, tell me what to do. Well, it's simple. You're going to cleanse. You're going to do this. This is your system. We're going to take care of you. And then that confidence, but also getting to have a new friend, getting to hear her stories fueled my soul. That's all it took for me to say, I want to do it again. Who else can I call? Who else can I call? <gasps> Sarah just gave me five names. Let's call them. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one, call. And so I just want to invite you. There's plenty of time for you to have your five parties, even if you're the hostess. But what starts to happen is you're going to get cojones. Am I saying a lot of bad words tonight or what? Um, mm -hmm. You're going to get some cojones and you're going to start to go, oh my gosh, Vanessa, you grab your neighbor um, do you have anyone else? No, I just have one friend. No problem. Because then Tammy's going to bring somebody. So now there's four people. Cha-ching. That's my second party. I don't have to give hostess credit if I'm the hostess. Yay. But what I can do is I can put a gift in the middle of the table and I can put something pretty nice because I'm not giving hostess credit. Mm -hmm. And I can do something because I just maybe purchase with the 60% sale or maybe I really want to use this to my benefit and I can put in the middle of the table, maybe I can put a retinol and say, guess what gang? Tonight, when we have three parties booked, 
then somebody here is going to go home with this gift. In fact, I'm going to give tickets. Every $20 you purchase, every party you book, and every referral, you're going to get one ticket. Let's see who's going to go home with this special gift. It's valued over $120. Let's see who's going to be the one. And they're not going to get it until their party. You're going to get this at your second, at your party when we get together again. But gang, I'm telling you right now, you're going to start to believe more in yourself because five, four, three, two, one, you just do it. And it's okay if you fall down and it's okay if you're like, oh, that sounded really bad. In fact, she hung up on me. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to get back up and you're going to say, maybe I came across a little too rough. Maybe I need to be more soft. You're going to learn. Okay. Give me some head shaking. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. But you're not going to do anything but be kind. You're not going to do anything but give a gift and offer the gift. If they do not want the gift now, it's okay. Repeat after me. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. We have a it's couple. It's okay. We have a couple. It's of okay. That are muted. It's okay because guess what? When they're ready, they're going to remember. People don't remember what you say. They remember how you make them feel. And they will remember. I really enjoyed being around her, she made me feel smarter. She made me feel like I could be pretty or confident or I wanna go for this new job. I need to call Andrea because she's the one that's gonna help me get that nice image, okay? It's every single day, just take that step. 1% growth. Oh good, I'm seeing some good emoji. What's the owl for? You know, they show an owl is supposed in Vietnam. If you see an owl, it means you're going to die. <laughs> no, no, no. You're no, saying no. who? Oh, thank you. Okay. I had to thank you for bringing me back. <laughs> who, who? Oh, that's right. Who, Bill? Who, who? Okay. Let's go back to uh, so the purse, y'all. My first year, they had this. Um, it was. National Sales Director Pat Fortenberry held up this briefcase. Well, I was an army chick, but also I, anybody here, like I was poor. I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was trying to, you know, pay off things and get my life started. And I thought, I don't have a briefcase. Like I'm not professional. All I have is a rucksack. And they said, do 10 parties and you could earn this briefcase. And it was sharp too. And I remember I just told everybody, hey, Sarah, <laughs> I'm going to use her because she was my my very first hostess. I said, hey, I, I want to earn this amazing gift and I have to have 10 training. Everybody write that word down, training party. Now, mm -hmm. this might be, you know what? I've been talking a little bit, but this might be a good time for me to share no, we only have seven minutes. If if we don't have guests on, um, I want everybody to do our um, My Favorite Things, but I'm going to teach you guys what skin cycling is if we end up not having any guests. Does that sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. Did you already watch the videos? Mm -hmm. Okay, then good. I'll teach you about it. Perfect. That'll be our plan for tonight. Um, and I want you to know these training parties, especially with the skin cycling, this could be an easy thing for you to call up and say, Julie, I am so, so, so excited, but I need to apologize. I haven't given some of my top customers the kind of follow-up service and the kind of support that I'm committed to now. I just got off a training and I learned this brand new skin cycling system that I think would really make a difference for you. And I'd love to invite you to one of my training parties because I need to practice my presentation. And just for you coming, we're going to have some wine. We're going to have some hors d'oeuvres and everybody gets a small gift for coming. Could I count on you to be there? And that is an easy thing to consider too. So skin cycling, looked it up. Okay, so um, I'll share with you in a couple minutes before we do have our guests. Skin cycling is actually... Uh, Jamie, you're on. Good. Okay. Okay. Joanna was texting me that you're going to be on. So you are here and no guests, Jamie, currently no scheduled guests. Okay. Okay, good. Well, Hey guys, hold on. 
let me let me let me get it up on my computer and I'll talk a little bit while I'm getting it together and tell you. So um, TikTok, it's a trend and um, and it's a trend, but it was um, started by a dermatologist, Whitney Bowes, and what she wanted to do. She is seeing as um, my, uh, my best friend is a dermatologist. So Brian, our, our best friend, my husband and I, but our best friend is a dermatologist. And um, one of the things that they're seeing, hold on, I can't talk and look and read at the same time. What they're seeing in the dermatology offices are so many people are coming in with irritated skin. They're seeing people come in and they're trying this peel, they're trying this brush, they're trying this kind of um, vitamin serum, and they're trying all of these things from different companies. Like all of them are completely different lines. Getting more fair. What's happening, we all know, because we were taught, is they're all negatively interacting with one another. So people who otherwise would have normal skin are trying truly causing rosacea they've got loss of skin barrier issues their skin is um, red inflamed all of the things and we um and so what she said is she was really looking at these people need to be brought back in to a system that will not irritate their skin and she basically pulled up a four-day cycle and it's interesting because we do that with our Mary Kay. However, the four-day cycle is not for people who already handle the repair and the supplements and the revealing peel or microdermabrasion. It's not for people like that. It's for people who really have irritated, almost like they're their skin is freaking out and it's a way to get them back into a skincare system to calm their skin. So once their skin is calmed down, then they can handle what perhaps we talk about. So give me just a second because I, I look, I, I need to pull this up so that I can give it to you and, um, Unfortunately, I have to read. So anybody have anything to add while I'm doing my thing here? It gives your skin a rest in between um, the active ingredients that you use, like the retinol and the um, microdermabrasion. Uh, that's what I read, that um, it's able to, the routine gives your skin a rest. Excellent. Thank you, Fran. Let me see if this is uh stop share. Okay, nope, it didn't work. Let me try this one more time. Okay, so can you see this? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good. So the first day, so how how the scientists or or the doctor basically um brought it into, it's a four day process where in the morning it's the same. Every day it's the same, but at nighttime we change one thing so that our skin doesn't get irritated, but also we can have simplicity so that then people can um, handle the next elements and, and be able to create that baseline. So on day one morning, they would cleanse, they would um, put on their toner, they would put on their moisturizer, they'd put on their makeup. At nighttime, they would always cleanse, cleanse is the first thing, but they would exfoliate. Then of course they would put on their moisturizer and then they'd go to bed. Now day two, the morning is the same and the evening they would cleanse but instead of doing a serum or an exfoliation, they would do their retinol. Then they would put on their moisturizer and then they would go to bed. Day three, morning is the same. And then the evening, they would do the extra hydration. Maybe it was a sheet mask. Maybe it was the extra um, 
moisture renewing gel mask. Maybe it was uh, the indulge or oil-free hydrating gel as extra hydration. And then of course, day four, let's see if I can move this. I can't, oh, restore. Um, and then day four is restore, which we'll have to read that. And then the next day you're back to number one. So it's called skin cycling. So I'm gonna keep sharing, but.